Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. It's trial time. Nearing the end. Man, there's mm. nobody here. Whoa, Byakuya and Makoto showed up together. Uh. Where the heck have you two been? It's just, you just disappeared without a word. Hmm. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out at this point? By this point. Yeah. Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off to together? Just the two of you? Huh? What? Are you jealous? Hey. Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? What? Stop talking and brace yourselves. He'll be here any second. Any second. He could show up at any time. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself, but... We stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. And then he showed up. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Does that imply that Kyoko should be here, but isn't? That'd be hilarious. She just walks in, hey guys. And then five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Could it be... Maybe he died again. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here, or...? What an ass! Or what? 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 Jesus! No! No! Did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Hmm? What? Made you wait? You've got it all backwards! You're the ones making me wait! Huh? In other words... Yeah. I'm waiting for everyone to arrive! We can't start till everyone's here, now can we? Yeah, it's time for the big reveal, right? Huh? What are you t talking about? Everyone is here! We've all been waiting for you! <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong! <laughs> but I've been waiting ten minutes now! So it's okay if I punish someone making us all wait, right? Um... If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now! Wow. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. But who could it be? When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hey. Hey! <laughs> I'm here, so no rule's been broken. K Kyoko? Uh. Kyoko? You're still alive! Uh. No! That's a g g g ghost I wish I hit Hero's part just for those lines. <laughs> <laughs> this was so fun. Stop t talking. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? What? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Is that right? What is he, um... What a dick. Taka now? Yeah. I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? You're so selfish, so spoiled. You're right, there's no penalty officially, but I bet you'll be sorry later. Wow, what an ass. Shing. No, I'll make sure you're sorry later. For 10 minutes? Jeez, relax. Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of you. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko! Ah. So you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God. I'm so glad you're okay. Hmm. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Huh? <laughs> uh, he's right! Now we've got to deal with a g-g-ghost! Can we please go back in time <laughs> and give me Hero's roll? <laughs> I told you, stop t -t talking! Let's go. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we could do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped into the elevator. That's a little suspicious. <laughs> Master, wait for me! Uh, um... Good call. Who knows what might happen to, us, happen to us if we took too long. But... I'll be happy when this trial is all over. I mean, on one hand, yeah. On the other, though, like, no you won't. <laughs> Someone's gonna die. Maybe it was another suicide, maybe we're fine. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. But I also piled- I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. I- We're making him wait! I kind of feel like some of the deaths in the second game were a little bit better. But... 
That's only because I played that yeah, more recently. recently too, so... Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you, will you forgive me for telling the everybody about, like... The everything. Another, the everything. <laughs> telling everybody about yet another thing you told me to keep my mouth shut about? Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? The Monokuma key. So... Correct. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. And that also implies that that's where uh, the other student was staying then. Of course. I also missed his announcement because of that. Oh, no monitors. Ooh. I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then when did you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down just in time to hear the class trial announcement. Wow, you're going to be useless during this thing. <laughs> Oh. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to the trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. However... Sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be precise, not quite. Yeah, I wonder if the Monokuma key goes to the Monokuma door. In other words... I used Monokuma's what? secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. That's a thing that exists? It's terrifying! That actually makes me wonder, the first time she came into our room, if we really did leave the door unlocked. Mm. The second time, though, maybe it was her. I don't know. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's important. Somebody came into our room. Just a second. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma. Makoto. We can go over all the details after we get through the trial, okay, Makoto? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. It would seem... Because this is probably the single most crucial moment for me so far. So far for me. <laughs> for her? That's a strange way to put it. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Goodbye. Well, if that's all. Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? The game you... actually makes me go in. Why don't you talk to those people first before you... Yeah, go? let's see who's... Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. I mean, I also would have done it even if I weren't the last one left. And the door slid shut. Time for the endless, a uh, deadly this, a uh, deadly that. This time, hey, it's different. This time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes with preparing for an execution. In that dusky darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. Ooh, doing it twice in a row now. <laughs> the talkers were tacit. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. But it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. Oh no, far from it! It's just like a floodlight. It was the blinding light of despair. I knew that was coming, come on. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Wait, whoa! Wait. Ah! I've been waiting for this! I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this! The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Kills, chills, kills. Let's get on with the show! I really love that. And so the curtain opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment, there we go. a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly, deadly riddle, this, a deadly, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Dun, dun, dun. I would like to save the data. And save the day. And save the day. To... And save my own life. Save the data what? The deadly uh -huh. data. <laughs> Whoa, different background and everything. Skills. S thrills. Kills. <laughs> yeah, skills. <laughs> Trigger happy. What was the other thing I got? Oh, do I just use them all? Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Oh, jeez. All right. Lock onto two statements at once. Oh! I'll take it. That's pretty nice. It saves me. Like uh, the reloading is way faster. Thunder! 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 thunder, thunder yes. Oh, I love that. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results! Are we really just not gonna remark on the, the festive atmosphere? If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But, if you pick the wrong one... 
Then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened. And the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. Also, why she doesn't have... Well, no, no, no. Why the 16th student doesn't have a... A post? Hmm. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Wow! Oh, no, he's still pushing that she's a ghost. Okay, okay, fair enough. But still stupid, but I get it. <laughs> but Kyoko's standing right there. <laughs> she didn't even stutter. She's just like, hey. No! That's a ghost! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but she has legs and stuff. Oh, is it like the Japanese, Casper Wispy no, ghost? No, Japanese ghosts Oh, they're like little legs. balls of flame? No, Japanese ghosts... No Japanese ghosts have legs. Really? Yes. I'm pretty sure. They do in Corpse Party. Okay. I can't believe okay. they get the reference Corpse Party okay. again. Also, like, the ring, the grudge. Uh, well, that's, that's just because... Seems like the latest evolution in ghost technology! Yeah. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Kyoko, poke poke. There, done. Then let's compare Kyoko's traits. Are we to really the doing the this? Body. Are we really doing this? Could we just like crack Hero on the head and just do the rest of the trial? Her traits? Also, all you need to do is have her remove her right glove. Is that the same hand? More importantly, we could be like, poke, poke, huh, solid. What do you know? Maybe it's more ghost technology. Oh, one important trait Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't... Wow. We're really doing this. I got it. I'm this is the stupidest... Gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. You like that royal we right there? Mm -hmm. If someone explained. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Oh. Apparently you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I, that thought had crossed my mind, but like the rest of the clothes hadn't. You'd think there'd be scraps also, of gloves. also, she's wearing gloves again. Uh, they're ghost gloves. I'm not convinced. The ghost has just tried to fool us all. Hero, there's no way that corpse was Kyoko. She, I, I can't believe we're doing this. But if I can't prove why, oh, we're going to be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice left but to... <laughs> really? <laughs> We, like, reluctantly did the cool music thing. Tattoo in the right hand. Let's go at... Oh, or fake nails. Both of those are good. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. Jesus. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Don't know she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. That because that corpse okay. is absolutely Kyoko. Let me know if you need this help. This entire discussion is idiotic. <laughs> Thanks, Biakia. Just that's it. They don't give you many Kyoko tips there. Yeah, that's kind of vague. Impossible. Okay. I guess exploding body okay. analysis would that even help? Fake nails is irrelevant. Oh, fake nails. Well, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She wouldn't be able to wear fake nails with the gloves. There you go. Wow, finally the game's not. The game's taking off the kid gloves. Eh? Eh? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's more subtle. I'll take it. I like that. No, there's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails. Remember? And they were long. I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Also, you're an idiot. Can we move on with the case? Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their That's hands a good point. to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? <laughs> They're complicated like that. You know how many women I've met who wear fake nails and gloves? Makoto, you gotta go around the block a few more times. <laughs> There's no women, it's you. <laughs> well, Kyoko, any thoughts? He's right. These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. 
Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. She could also take off her gloves, so she would, I mean, it would be uncomfortable, but like, mm -hmm. she could prove a point right now. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Okay, so then. Who's okay. The real Gets right into it. First, we need to figure that out. That's the first thing I said. <laughs> You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. This is a little warm-up, you know? I can't believe, like, Mamakuma must have been sitting there like, oh my god. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. God, do I love the start of that music. It's so good. It just hits you with that impact. Sprinklers, exploded body, and tattoo. All good clues. If Kyoko really is still alive, then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. Well, the face was. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body... Tattoo, I bet. Then there's nothing else we can do, right? Yeah, it's, it's gotta be the tattoo for that. Did you get a Monokuma file this time? Hey, Kyoko yeah, really we did. Okay. is still alive. Then who died? Then who died? If there wasn't any description in the file, if we can't identify the body... Ah, yeah! <laughs> there was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? For realsies? You'll die a cruel and unusual death. Why would he just oh, like she just does that? This I gotta see. We've already seen it like four, four times. She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Well, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Or a it actually says Finra on the tattoo. To be like, you're my bitch. <laughs> Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? Yeah, it's hard to see, but there's straight up Fenrir written on the tattoo below the dog. Really, I didn't notice that. It. It's hard to see. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh, really? At least I think. It was a small picture. If you compare the tattoo to other information we had, the victim's identity should become clear. Mm. Yeah, but like... Oh no, it's just a little star sign. Okay. That looks like Fenrir, That, that yeah. fooled me. Alright. All right. <laughs> so, tattoo to other information we have. Yeah, so, down, I guess down, it's down. the, uh... The Fenrir thing? Nope. No, it's... I, it, I mean... Fake nails? No. Nope. When the body... Oh, nope. uh, the blood? Nope. Body before the explosion, I suppose? Nope. Her profile. Oh. Just said that she was part of Fenrir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. How embarrassing. You should be embarrassed. I should be embarrassed. I got it. <laughs> the Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Mukuro. Mukuro. Okay. So to show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. By the way, just saying, back of the hand, that's gonna that hurt. That, yeah. My friend have, got like, no muscle there. One of my other like, friends sticks out. got his, uh, the top of his foot tattooed. That that's the most painful murder. thing he's ever done. Yeah, a guy I used to work with had one, like, kind of across his chest, which included, like, his sternum. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> the image that represents Fenrir is. I mean, the, the image, <laughs> right? Oh, here, Let's okay. Let's play some word games. Wolf. 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 They already wolf. give you W. Wolf. I know, they're really. <laughs> but what could it be, though? Seriously. Oh! Uh, to be fair, that was the easiest yeah, Hangman's game by far. That wasn't so bad. Schizo was the most ridiculous one, I think. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Nani? Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge, world ending wolf beast. He's the child of the trickster god Loki. And a female giant. There you go. And after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. A wolf tattoo. And that means. Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. Or they just like Fenrir. You never know. And that could be so it. It must have been Mukuro. We are. Our... Okay. What? Hold on. 
one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Muguro Ikusama. So it is confirmed. So we never even met her. She died. We never even got to see her face because she exploded. And they probably got rid of the... saying the well. mastermind is dead? And, like, the reason they probably just ordered her face, like, I'm wondering if it's because she looks like somebody we know. Watch it be, like, Sayaka, like, she faked her death in Chapter 1. Although, um, I gotta say, it is a little disturbing that, like, we, we, to be fair, we have been assuming that Mokuro was the mastermind. Mm -hmm. But if she was, Monokuma's still doing stuff. Like, that's really mm -hmm. unsettling. Like, he's self-sufficient. No. It means we were wrong yeah. in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. Everyone's saying Mukuro. Isn't it Mukuro? I might be wrong. I think it's Mukuro. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Well, yeah, she gets to use her own corpse as a way to screw us over. It's not bad. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate Maybe despair in the first oh, place. Oh, that, that would that <laughs> be ridiculous. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Kyoko herself. No, it came Kyoko. from... That's what yeah. you told Makoto, right? So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Mm. Or she was leading us away. Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually, when there's a scene where an important character dies, it mm. has a lot more detail. And also, assuming that the person who died was, in fact, the person who KO'd us in the secret room before, mm. what the hell was that all about? So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then, who's the real mastermind? It must have been the uh, Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. Wait a second. I had a thought, though. Remember how Monokuma was getting mad? Because we weren't all at the elevator when we should be? Well, where was Makuro all those other chapters? Was she secretly there the whole time? Because mm. otherwise I don't get it. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. Not necessarily. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a <laughs> trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! <laughs> Fine. Uncovering the identity of the Mastermind will have to wait. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. Damn. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains! What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then one of us killed Mukuro? That's really weird. Mm -hmm. Wait, no! There's a chance of the mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along! That would be so stupid. There's actually 20 people. Yeah! <laughs> there are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already known Also, I remember the trials in the second suspect. game were longer because they all have intermissions. Oh my god! Well, to be fair, intermissions will give us uh, good breakpoints. But, yeah, but I don't know though if it's because they're longer because they realized the trials were too long to begin with, so oh. they broke it up. I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. My god! You've narrowed it down to. Yoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? 
That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... ...are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it! I can't let this stand. I gotta get Kyoko killed and not me. <laughs> Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Kyakuya can both dick. confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Well, after 7.30 a.m. too. And whenever they the sprinklers stop, they, yeah, they're, 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 gonna, they're working their way. Yeah. What time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? She went to go get the pickaxe. So what time was the body discovered? I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m., since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 in the dot now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. Couldn't even do that. He's right. It had to be around then. So that's not bad. We have an 11 hour window, but of course we're going to narrow it down to mm -hmm. at most a two and a half hour window. Hour or one hour and a half, yeah. So we can be hey, totally man. sure. 9 minus 7 is 2. I was tricked. Between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh, yeah! Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. The murder happens between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m., and I don't have an alibi from 10 to 7.30. But this will clear my name right here. It's so perfect. Yeah. It's like a little too perfect. Yeah. Okay, then. It looks like the game has begun. I can't provide an alibi for that period, and it doesn't prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. Well, obviously, sprinklers. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock. <laughs> Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. What? Let them finish talking. Yeah. Shoot! A pain in the ass. I guess we gotta like let them hammer that in one more time. We between 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, Makoto doesn't have an alibi. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So, Makoto, if you have any objections, what other um, yeah. clues do you have? I guess the body analysis, because it was dry. Like, that pisses me off. Like, I had the answer the whole time, and it's like, nope, sorry, sprinklers that's, don't have anything to do with 7.30. That's what is annoying thing about this, is the fact that, yeah. That sucks, man. Like, I've had legitimate difficulty with this before, but this is ridiculous. This wasn't my, like, failing to come up with a clue. Yeah, Try sprinklers on 10. I over. guess I'll do it, that's literally the only other thing that makes sense. For God's sake. No, oh, that's why. Because the body couldn't the have been killed from 10 anywhere to 9, 10 but from 7.30. Uh, Alright. Okay. I, yeah. guess, I guess she's not wrong yeah. about 7.30. Jesus. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on! I remember this part perfectly! The body was wet. 
Dripping wet, in fact. Really? That's so what you remember? Is after he yeah, put after, the... Yeah, after, yeah. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? Ew. How oh. dare you spew such indecent words? <laughs> no. I'm saying no. <laughs> but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean by denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Man, you're totally wacko. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, you better tell us why! I need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence, and that should do it. If you look at the body itself, it should make it clear. Well, let's see if I can figure this one out. Moment of truth. Oh, no! Alright. Good thing I had that extra ability. Remember to reload. Yep. Hold on. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I hate you. <laughs> Jesus, Toko. I don't know anything. Hold on. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I hate you. A little tough. All right. How that's it. I guess that's it. Wasn't the sprint? This should prove it. Wasn't the sprint? This should prove it. Nani. Toko, you were the only one who was like not conscious at the time. Like, how about you shut Just your mouth? Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. I know you said that you hate Hangman's Gambit the most, but I really have a problem with the, the rhythm game. Oh, I, I like I, I like the rhythm game. Really? Yeah. The top half of the body was wet. Yes. But the bottom half was completely dry. Yaki, you want to help me out? You watched me throw a bucket of water on him. Hero, <laughs> you want to help me out? You watched me throw a bucket of water. <laughs> They're not protagonists. The body they wet, can't help. Shouldn't the whole body have been wet? Slowly only got the top wet. The bottom was completely dry. What does that do? How does that make someone a brutal maniac? maniac? I'm so sick of her. <laughs> Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because that thing I did, I was there, I did it. While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. You see how it could have been really annoying if he actually just threw the water on the whole body? That could have been. <laughs> just being obstinate and everyone else shuts up. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at night. And the sprinklers aren't on for like a minute, you know? Like, yeah. she, like we have a really small time frame. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, It was, right? but no one saw him from 10 to... Yeah. So oh. There's no way Makoto could have done it. It doesn't matter because he did that. Yeah, he didn't take place this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, my alibi was only yeah. weak where it didn't matter. Yeah. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. That's kind of scary.